paint. It's a, uh, a sticker that they uh, drawn a skull and uh, some rainbows in the clouds, and they actually made it. It's not a, it's a homemade sticker. That's pretty clever. How did they stick it on there? Probably use some sort of a spray glue. That's what I would say. Unless it's some, I don't think it's that piece of that. But this is the Department of Transportation's responsibility, not mine, so I'm gonna leave it. Plus it looks good. So, we're gonna remove this. Yeah, I think it's a problem when it's, when only if it's, you know, um, demoralizing or defacing someone's private property, but if it's on public property, you know, I think it's um, a form of like freedom of speech in a sense, and they should, you know, like all other things, it only takes a few bad apples to ruin it for everybody. And uh, like I said, it's not fair for like this subway here to get a, you know, a, a sticker on the window from some random company or business or organization. Um, so that's where it becomes a problem. But uh, I think everybody needs to get together and quit doing uh, it on private property. I think that'd be a, a big help. You know, people don't care about it so much if it's not on their property. So. This helps deter them from doing it again, though. Like some people say, oh, it's not a problem at all, you know, and others say, oh, it's a real problem. I mean, that that really struck us. I mean, the, the divergence of views on it was really kind of interesting to, 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 to hear about. Um, if you've been victimized, you tend to care more about it. If you haven't, you don't. You know, you haven't experienced it, you know, personally affecting your life. Um, you need to work with the attorneys in the city attorney office to make sure you're defining this properly. What we're talking about is putting something without permission, you know, that on a, on a surface of something. And I know there's certain categories like handbills. I know you can put them on utility poles or something like that, um, where that's that's allowed. Okay. Uh, you know, if you came up and did it on a private piece of property, in theory, you're supposed to ask that person's permission in order to do it. I mean, the whole concept is, you know, without permission, sure. uh, should you be able to allow to put anything? On, on your property or the city's property without asking that person's permission. And that's the basis of the law. See, that's the kind of thing I'm talking about. Like, I noticed this sign. I was here at the Sunday market with my parents. And they were visiting from Florida and they were buying like vegetables and stuff and cheese or whatever. And I was just standing here like, oh look, there's some cool stickers on the sign. And I just enjoyed it. <laughs> you know what I mean? This guy over here, the bald man, that guy has been putting stuff up around here for a long time and he is literally all over the city in every neighborhood and I don't think I've ever seen him anywhere where it really doesn't, like it's ne never on private property, like anywhere. I mean it's literally everywhere. You can't go anywhere without seeing his stuff. Well, a lot of people have like real important placement on what how they do their things like i don't ever go and like stick anything on somebody's dog or their car or their little baby so it's not really like private property i mean it's not like we're doing anything that horrible right i don't think any of it's horrible me neither like, i think going it's all out, wonderful like, uh, we're not doing anything against the law <laughs> yet yet <laughs> <laughs> It's a good, safe fun. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. <laughs>